Hello, Internet. This is Ben with another Mysterious Space update. Uh, I have just released version 0.6.3, which mostly is a bunch of little UI fixes, uh, but also some translation work. So I thought I would try and play the game in French or German or something. I think we should do French because I think French is a little more translated than German. Um, and yeah, so let's play in French and, and I will show you what things are translated, what things aren't, and also kind of talk about plans for the future. Uh, this is not translated, but we do see that we can ajouter une, I don't know how you say, joueur, perhaps? I only took like two years of French in high school and my French is terrible. Um, lots of this stuff has already been translated, like these ship descriptions, those are translated for a long time. Uh, the instructions on the bottom, where's my mouse cursor? Uh, down here, these are newly translated, and I had to do like some word word wrap. The, the English descriptions of these actions were a bit shorter, and so I had kind of wiggled the positions to make everything fit on one line. I need to remember not to do that kind of stuff anymore because, like, taking the time to do that isn't going to work in the long run because you translate to another language and the strings are totally different lengths. Uh, that's an issue that I keep running into, and it's an issue, issue I've read about online. Like, that is a thing that happens. Uh, but I just keep forgetting about it. Anyway, let's uh, nom my vaso spatial. I should just, you know, I shouldn't even try to pronounce the French. I'll just embarrass myself. Um, actually, I think Ben is already being used, so let's do Ben. Actually, and let's do a ship that we don't normally do. This one's got more vitesse, so that's good. <laughs> uh, that should be movement speed. So we're 30% faster. Oh man, I think that's when I'm sped up, I'm sped up for, or when I'm slowed, I'm slowed for 50% less time. Uh, my hole is minus 10, and I have a maximum of two uh, emplacements for my arms, <laughs> for my weapons. Uh, yeah, and again, I should do Ben, because I'm pretty sure Ben is already taken by another save. So... Hey, I didn't even notice here on the lower right we don't have that, but we can see that this is a foret, so that's good. Let's go to this foret, or do we want this roche? I don't. The French and their crazy letters. You don't say that X, by the way. You, why would you say an X? That's just foolishness. Um, let me turn down the volume a little. So, uh, things for the future. So the big thing, oh, 0 0.6.3. This update was a pretty small update, again, focused mainly on uh, these little UI changes. Man, I'm so fast. I haven't played this ship in a long time. <sighs> Look at me. The camera can barely keep up. Um, but I did I did do a couple little things. Uh, Berserker Armor, as I was uh, translating its name, was like, man, why does Berserker Armor suck so bad? I'm going to make it a little better. So uh, Berserker Armor used to be, when this armor takes damage, your second weapon is... Uh, gets double fire rate for, I forget, some seconds. Um, and I was like, why is it only the second? And I know why I did it only the second. I uh, So there's the alien artifact that only doubles the uh, attack speed of your first weapon, and I wanted, uh, you know, I, I, I worried that if I had the artifact double all of your weapons, that would just make you a crazy powerhouse. Um, so that's why the alien artifact only does the first. I might change that later. Anyway, so when I was making that armor, I was, you know, thinking along a similar lines. I was like, well, I, I should double the weapon speed. It was like, oh, but wouldn't it be cool if it did double a different weapon? Because then you could combine the two, you know, combine it. Who's going to go through that much trouble? So I made it so that the Berserker armor just doubles all of your weapons. Um, and it is now slightly more rare and gives a little less armor. Uh, than it used to, so that's kind of the trade-off for the additional firepower that it grants. I didn't want to reduce the armor strength too much, because if you're taking armor hits, you're losing the game, right? <laughs> like, you, you shouldn't be taking armor hits anyway, uh, so making it give you less armor, yeah, I didn't want to do that too much. Funny thing about the ship, it can actually fit through these funny little spaces, uh, which is easier with the keyboard, I think. Well, that eh, works okay. You just kind of have to get in there. I don't know, it works better with the keyboard. Uh, keyboard's a little more precise. Um, but the ship only barely fits, so come on, get in there. Urgh. Okay, never mind. <laughs> um, and another thing I did was the mini boss uh, that I added last update. I changed him so that he now drops one of the uh, upgrade blueprints. So the 
ameliore, ameliore, sure. Those things that you can you can get, which you can see are mostly not translated. Um, you have to unlock these. So alien scanners you don't start with. You have to find the blueprint for the alien scanner upgrade. It used to be uh, that you got that blueprint randomly uh, from drops that you find pre-placed on the levels. The drops that you get for murdering enemies do not ever give you unlockable content because you could just keep farming them. Uh, there's some other mechanics in place to prevent infinite farming. Uh, every time you kill a monster, the next... Uh, it, it takes more monsters to drop an up an item every time you kill a monster. So the longer you just sit there farming, the longer it's going to take you. So I'm hoping you just get annoyed and leave. Uh, but in theory, you could just you could just sit around and, and farm forever, but it would become impractical. Uh, and that resets when you go to the next level, uh, because I don't want to punish people who spend a long time in early levels, you know, making it... Now it's harder for them to get the good equipment in later levels, so it resets. Um, anyway, so you cannot get blueprints from uh, items dropped by monsters, but on the items that are kind of pre-placed on the planet, you might find uh, upgrades and logs and, and other unlockable uh, content. Uh, so I was thinking that it would be much cooler if a mini boss uh, dropped those upgrades rather than just finding it randomly and going, oh, I guess I got it through no particular fault of my own, uh, lock it behind a mini boss. Um, so let's see, I don't know what utilizing this alien artifact is going to do. What is this? Laze fat kill or I, I shouldn't do it. Adds a temporary shield equal to okay. So I've got a temporary shield. Anyway, anyway, so um I I feel like defeating a boss and getting a blueprint is a cooler reward because it's something you know you can do. And after you've seen, you know, oh, every time I beat a different mini boss, I get an upgrade. Uh, that that'll be you know that makes every future mini boss more exciting. Like whoa, you know I want to find a different mini boss. He's, I want to get whatever you know crazy thing he drops. And they only drop it the first time uh, you fight them. That's not quite true. If you failed to pick up the thing that he dropped, it, the next one would give it to you. But so until I get alien scanners, regenerating Rigel, the new boss will d drop the alien scanner upgrade. He'll keep dropping it until I pick it up and, and unlock it. Uh, after that, he has a guaranteed drop of a regenerating armor, so I'm also giving the bosses a unique, not quite unique, although I could do that in the future, but a, a fixed kind of drop, so you'll get regenerating armor for this guy, uh, blah 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 blah. So other bosses will drop other upgrades, um, and and then if you, once you've got that upgrade, some other you know specific equipment. That will be a little more important. So right now, when you find a mini boss, it's still pretty random. But let me show you, I, I've been drawing, let me, where is this? Uh, here he is. I have been drawing, this is going to be the next mini boss I do. It's going to be a big whale. He's going to swim on the surface of the water, which is what we're seeing here. And let me, uh, let me hide the water. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that things were lining up well so that when he's beneath water level, it'll look good. But this is going to be a boss. So he will be on, on water planets and lava planets only. And I'll probably recolor him for lava planets. You know, we can make him, I don't know, some kind of, some kind of red. Uh, why did I fail to pick a red? I don't know. A lava whale and a, and a water whale, and they will drop different things. But so that would give you incentive to pick a particular type of planet. Perhaps you have never played, you know, never never had the opportunity because random numbers have been against you to fight the whale boss on the on the ocean worlds. Uh, that would give you incentive now that you know that they're going to drop, you know, unlockable content to go to ocean planets and, and find the whale and finally fight him. And when you do, then you'll feel amazing and maybe you'll die and, and you'll feel shitty, but also amazing because it was tense battle, hopefully. Um, so that's the idea with the mini bosses. That's the direction I'm going to go. Uh, and the next update is definitely going to focus on adding mini bosses, including the whale. So we're going to go here and there isn't going to be a whale. <laughs> Too bad. Um, so that's that's kind of the the future of the near future for Mysterious Space. I want to put more emphasis on the mini bosses. Um, this update again was uh, just focused on getting some more translation, and we can see I failed to to check on see, and I, and I can't identify on a planet. That string isn't isn't translated. <laughs> um, so we we should look and and see how translated 
uh, some of these items are because they're a little translated. So the basic effects, the common effects for all of the armors and shields are translated in both German and French. So that's the can absorb up to X amount of damage, regenerates this much damage per, you know, however many seconds. Oh, that was really unfortunate. Um, running into that guy, but I had my temporary shield, so that, that saved me. Little bubbles. They just they just carry you. It's, it's very nice. All right. Um, you know, I added those in because I was like, oh, won't that be a cool challenge to have? But it's not that challenging. You just kind of move again. <laughs> but it looks pretty, so that's okay. And this ship is faster, so it does go through them a, a bit quicker. Um, sometimes you can get vents that happen to be lined up with some column that you're trying to go down, and, and then they're annoying. Um, well, let me finish exploring this planet, because if there are more things to pick up... Yeah. Like, look, an artifact alien Blanc. I don't know how you say it. artifact alien, alien, I don't know. The French, man. Their letters. I do, I, I, French sounds really cool. German also sounds really cool. The primary reason why I did French and German translations is because I like French, which is why I, I took it in, in high school. Oh, you know what? It's one of those things where like doing it made me like it. That's your, what is that? Cognitive dissonance. You know, you, you do a thing and then your brain says, oh, you must like that thing. Why else would you have bothered to do it? The reason I honestly took French is because I was like, everyone's taking Spanish. How boring. I want to take a different language. Uh, so I took French. Um, which is probably a terrible reason. That's that's high school students for you, being rebellious in every way they can imagine. Um, <laughs> German I just love because I've seen some German movies, Run, Lola, Run, for example, and the language is just so cool to listen to. Uh, and so I really wanted to do those two languages for that reason, for those reasons. So that's why we have the languages we have. At some point I'm going to need to do Spanish, and actually I have Spanish-speaking friends who, who, you know, their parent, their... Uh, they were born in America, but the parents were not, and, and so the, the family speaks Spanish, and they know Spanish, so I can get help from them if I wanted. Um, so we can see that the weapons are not translated. That's too bad. Let's see. Whoops, 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 whoops. Can't even use my own game. Let's see what other armors we have. Ooh, rea reactif. No, reactif. Sorry, that accented E. That's a re re reactif. Oh, the Zorbes. I don't know how to say 30 in French anymore. God, how do you say 30? You, you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Or wheat enough dies. Ons dues trois quatorze or something can say. I don't know. They get weird numbers up to like 15, 16. Oh man, how do you do that anymore? See, it's just been too long. And then you start counting like you do 20 and then like two 20s and three 20s to do this. Yeah. I feel like lots of other languages have math built into the way they count, which is interesting. Anyway, it resists 50% of. Uh, Ooh, ooh, look, I think we're mixing an accented letter that dig something. There should be an accented letter in there, and it's probably not in my font. So I will, I'm going to take note of that right now, but that is a thing to fix. Oh, and this is in version 0.6.3. It's already released. It'll be fixed in 0.6.4. Where's a pen? Um, resist 50%. Yeah, so the, um, what is that? The collision damage, resist, string, and what do we have here? We have D, E, S, eh? What letter should that be? D, A, <laughs> G. I don't even know how to say the letters in the alphabet anymore in French. It has been so long. I remember singing silly songs like Petit Poisson, Petit Poisson. He manges, 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 all kinds of things, and then he's eaten by a whale, a gross baleen, gross baleen. The French are so funny. God, the language is so funny. Okay. Anyway, what else we have? Amplificateur de moteur. That's an, amplif that's an amplificator of my motors. Excellent. I, I, lo I love how it's just like, there's little bits. They're just similar enough. Um, the little bit on the bottom that we can see, A to... Desequipe, that would be to unequip, or we, or pour equipe. Oh yeah, let's equip. I could jeté the item, but I'd rather not. I think we should hold on to it. Uh, and let's do the next level. Oh, would we like to get any upgrades? Let's get a second weapon, and we'll equip the RNG blaster. None of the weapon effects are translated, but you can see, again, absorbs damage, regenerates damage every whatever seconds, absorbs damage, uh, prevents from collisions. Those common 
stats. I, I want to make sure that those at least are translated because that's basic, you know, gameplay stuff, uh, as well as the little UI elements. Although I totally forgot about this bit on the bottom, select planet and menu. I need to remove and redo that anyway. Um, that is a fixed image, and I now have the letters in the font. You can see the A. Where's my mouse? So this A you might notice is different from oh, where's my mouse? This A up here, the the one to to change. Um, is different from the A here to select a planet, and that's because the one on the bottom, the select a planet, is super old, and I just need to change it. Anyway, let's do one more level. Oh, Sean! Oh no! I honestly left this in the game. I'm gonna have to. Okay, this is real bad. This is a type of planet that I have not done. It's I. Um. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So. <laughs> There's going to be a new type of planet that's an asteroid belt, and you'll fly through it. There won't be a planet at all. You'll just fly through it, and there'll be chunks of asteroid coming at you, and it's forced movement through the level. I'm not done with those. You're not supposed to find them in the game, and if you stumble upon one, your game is screwed. So I'm going to remove those from the game real quick and re-release 0.6.3. Um... But there you have it. Let's pay attention to the good things. Focus on the good things. Uh, the good things are there's going to be a wonderful uh, gross Balin uh, boss in the next version. Uh, I'm a, sorry I didn't get to show you the mini boss uh, for this version, but I think it was in my past video. And mostly we have a bunch of wonderful uh, translation fixes for 0.6.3, which is awesome. So, wow, this is all the way on the bottom. 0.3.3, we wanted 0.6.3. Here we go. Um... Anyway, I'm going to fix up that asteroid thing real quick. This was like reality YouTubing <laughs> or something. Um, but thank you, as always, for watching and playing and everything else. Uh, and I will, you know, continue to make videos and post as I ha do uh, to keep you guys up to date with the progress for the next version. But yes, thank you for watching and playing and for giving me wonderful feedback. I love you guys all very much, <laughs> and goodbye.